In this video, we'll be going over running automatic ads. Over the years, I've ran many successful auto ad campaigns. It's the easiest hands off approach to running ads. So I'll show you through the steps so that you can have success too. So for those who don't know what automatic ads are, they just allow Amazon to place your book in front of interested customers by using Amazon's own algorithm to show your ads in search results and on product pages. This can make running ads much easier as Amazon chooses where and when your ads appear. Now, I'm a big believer in Amazon always knowing the best keywords and products to run your book against. They are in the business of making money and if your book is performing, they will show it to more customers. But one thing I always say before running any type of ad is ads are not going to help a bad book. So even before you want to prepare your automatic ad, you need to make sure that you're not competing with a high amount of books as the lower amount of books we're competing with, then the less you have to spend in order to get onto the first page. And then secondly, ensure that there actually is demand for your book. And you can simply do that by examining the BSR of books under your chosen keyword. As the BSR indicates how well a book is selling on Amazon and the lower the number, the higher the amount of sales. I always recommend that you see several books with BSRs of 100,000 or below under your chosen keyword to ensure that there is a good level of demand. So for example, if we scroll through Amazon and we take a look through this lion coloring book niche, we can already see that there's 20,000 results, which is a lot of books to be competing with, far too many. I usually look for two to 3,000. And then if we take a look through many of the books BSRs, they are far too high, which just means that there's not enough demand there. So if you are running an ad in this type of niche, then there's just not enough demand and you're just not going to see a lot of sales. On top of that, you need to make sure you've got an outstanding cover too, but make sure that you ensure these basic steps first before running an automatic ad, as Amazon's only going to use the keywords in your title, subtitle, and backend keywords. So you have to make sure that there is demand for what you are creating first to save you time and wasting money running ads. So once you found your chosen keyword to run an automatic ad, you need to access your KDP dashboard and then navigate to the marketing tab. Click on create campaign and then select sponsored product. So the first option here is about the ad format. You can choose to go with a custom text ad or a standard ad. I usually go with the standard ad, but if you've got something enticing that you want to write, then go with the custom text ad. Next, you have the ad group settings. So this just allows you to organize and manage your ad within the campaign. So you can choose whatever particular name you want there. And then you need to select your book and make sure that you add it. Then we go on to targeting. So make sure that you click automatic targeting. Then we have the choice to set our bid. Amazon do provide you with a suggestion bid that you can go with. However, I've usually go with 41 cents just to start off with. And depending on how the ad performs, I'll either increase it or decrease it. But I found with many of my books, I only really start getting impressions and clicks kind of around this mark in the US market. You also have a choice to set bids by targeting a group. So you have a close match to your keyword, then you have a loose match to your keywords. Then you have substitutes, which is showing your ad to shoppers who use detailed pages of products similar to yours. And then you also have compliments. So that just shows your ad to shoppers who view the detailed pages of products that complement your product. I personally don't go with this option as you really don't know which targeted group will be your best match. And I'll show you with a few results later. That's why I always stick with the set default bid. 
after this you've got negative keyword targeting and I don't put anything in there and you've got negative product targeting I also leave that blank and then finally we've got campaign bidding strategy I usually go with dynamic bids down only I'm quite conservative with my money and I don't want to be spending any more than I need to you can go with the dynamic bids up and down but just be prepared that it can raise your bids by a maximum of 100 percent then finally we're on to the settings so just make sure for your campaign name that you choose something that you can clearly remember this ad by then we've got the start date of the ad campaign and the end date which i usually leave blank and finally we've got the daily budget and I usually leave this around $5, but if you're on a bit more of a budget, then you can put this even lower. So once you click on launch campaign, Amazon will take a few hours to approve the ad. And once it's gone live, you will receive an email and be notified. So once your ad is live, you want to make sure that you are tracking and monitoring its performance. You want to take a look at the impressions, clicks, sales and your overall spend. So one of the first issues that you may come into is that you're just not getting enough impressions with your ads. And all this means is that they're not being shown to a significant number of potential customers. And one of the issues with this might be that your bid may just be a bit too low to compete with other advertisers. So consider increasing your bid by maybe five or 10 cents to make your ad a little bit more competitive. Now, the second reason why you might not be getting enough impressions is for what I mentioned earlier on in the video. If there is not enough demand for your book, then unfortunately ads just won't help this as there's not enough demand in the first place. Another issue some might find is that you are actually getting a high amount of impressions, but you're just not getting any clicks. And two reasons for this, firstly, could be to do with irrelevant targeting so your ad could be reaching the wrong audience that's why you need to make sure especially with the back-end keywords that you are using relevant keywords for your targeted niche and the second reason could be to do with your cover it might just not be engaging enough so the best thing to do is to change your book cover and create something a lot more appealing so this is one of my more recent automatic ads that I've been running and it's starting to see some success. So we can see that when I started running the ad in November, I had an ACOS of 59.88%. Then in December, it slightly reduced to 39.63%. In January, 29.87% and now finally in February we can see that it's 25.53%. So there's been various ways I've used to decrease this over time and to start off with I've drastically reduced the bid over time. If you remember when setting up the ad initially I talked about how I would start off with a 41 cents bid but if we take a look now we can see that this is actually at 17 cents and looking at the targeted groups if you remember when I set up the ad that I mentioned that I don't usually go with this option as we can see now that it's actually the compliments that has been the most profitable and that's why I just leave it as the default bid and then I adjust it over time depending on how profitable each targeted group is. So for example the loose match has not been profitable at all. I've spent $7.06 and not achieved any sales so I turned this one off. The substitutes has the highest a cost so it has had some sales but instead i've just reduced the bid so i'm not spending as much here and then in second we have a close match which has a 44.11 percent a cost and i've also reduced that bid so i'm not spending as much now this is an example of another automatic ad that I've been running for over two and a half years now. I actually started 
running ads on this book back in October 2021 and it wasn't insanely profitable with I think only one sale at the time and then I didn't run ads for a while on the book. I kind of dabbled again back with ads in May and June but then I really got going again back in August 2022. And the ad wasn't doing too terribly. We can roughly see an ACOS in the 30 to 40%. However, this slightly reduced over time as I was monitoring the ad and making adjustments. And now looking at the ad, we can see that in December 2023, we've got a 13.92% ACOS. And in January, we've got a 15.74% ACOS. So you do have to be patient with these ads. Don't expect quick results, but but it just goes to show that no book is truly dead and you shouldn't give up on it if it does meet the criteria of being in an in-demand niche and there's not too much competition and you have an outstanding cover as well. So how can we get this ACOS down over time? You need to make sure that you are monitoring the search terms that the book is advertising for. Keep check on the products and the keywords that are showing here and you can click on the spend to see which keywords or products are spending the most and if you see a particular book or keyword that is spending a lot and you're not getting any orders then make sure with that particular book or keyword if it's a keyword you can just copy the keyword and if it's a product then just make sure that you copy the ASIN and then we go into negative targeting then you can copy and paste that keyword or ASIN into the negative keyword or product for the ASIN in this instance we're going to put in the keyword then make sure that you click add keywords and save and then this book won't target that specific keyword or product anymore. So doing this over time will allow you to filter out the bad keywords and products and focus on the more profitable keywords and products and it should bring your ACOS down over time. So this sums up the basic of automatic ads. I hope it was helpful. And if you've got any questions, then let me know in the comments.